Hey guys, today I want to talk about magic players who hate other magic players. And this is a segment I've always wanted to do. Um, I just always forgot to do it. Oh, I've, I've done it in the past and I watched it. I don't watch most of my videos. In fact, I don't, whenever a video is published, I don't watch it um, at all. But I watched this video and I feel like I was a little harsh. So I do want to say that there is a subset of magic players who just don't they don't even want to be there and when I mean be there I mean you can tell that they feel like they have something better to do but they're still there at Friday Night Magic uh, you can see that at pre-release a lot of times where it's a magic player who does not interact with other magic players and I, a lot of you will say that's MTG Lion, you're completely wrong about this. You should leave him alone. You shouldn't make this video. You shouldn't say any of this stuff because it's offensive to you. Some people have social anxiety. I get all that. I totally get it. But this type of magic player, and I've seen him in Groovy Geckos, and I've seen him in Locals, uh, just seems angry all the time. And they seem angry when they win, and they seem ang they're even angrier when they lose. Uh, game day, this magic player loss and then he just um, kind of does the what's it called the design where he throws the deck in the ground and says this sucks and this deck is like quite a valuable deck and uh, game day at least where I play there's a lot of younger kids and they're seeing this as an example and they're just like what's going on and I don't really know why a person who seems to hate other magic players would want to play magic at Friday Night Magic or something and actually, uh, this happens a lot on Magic Online, to me at least, uh, and where the guy just is trolling you the whole time, and this is like, why are you here? Like, you know, like, like he's questioning why you're here. Or like that player who goes to Friday Night Magic and then makes fun of everybody for being there on Friday night, and it's like, wait, you're here too. And I don't know if this is true for every place, but uh, in Virginia and in Texas, we have players, Not I don't want to say like, a lot of them, but I would say one or two players who I, right, I mean, you don't forget when they do something like throw a deck across the room, right, who just don't seem like they want to be there in their interactions, they don't offer, like, if you offer the handshake, they won't shake your hand. Like, I don't care, like, if you have social anxiety, I don't, I mean, I, yes, I care about that type of stuff, but I don't see, like, how you cannot shake someone's hand when they offer you a handshake, whether or not you won or lost, or like a comment, a good game, and then they will like grumpily say, okay, you won by luck, blah, 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 blah. And they will get like, they get so salty that, um, it's kind of like Dizani. Actually, like a lot of these actions just remind me of that Magic Pro player uh, who like, just like gets all upset all the time when he loses or wins. Even when he wins, he's like talking to vendors about people getting deck lists and cards and, um, I don't know, I mean, even at the pro level, there seems to be magic players like Dizani who are playing this game and they don't want to be there. Um, and they don't realize how fortunate they are that they have the time, they have the resources, and they have people who are interested in the same hobby as that they are in the same room. And instead, they take it all for granted and they act like... Um, and it's not like they're sore losers, because even when they win, it gets even... They brag a lot and they say, oh, you know, of course I won, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, I don't know how to define it. Except, I've never seen this type of behavior outside magic before. And uh, as you guys know, I've, I'm, I'm pretty social, I volunteer, I tutor, I do a lot of fun activities in the community. And I just haven't seen this type of behavior where someone's doing activity, they voluntarily doing an activity, going to prelease, staying for eight hours, and they just don't seem like they are having fun at the activity. In fact, they seem like they hate doing the activity, or maybe not hate doing the activity, but hate the other people doing the activity. Like actively, like when I define hate, it's not like a dislike or it's like mumbling, like really insulting words, or when they play a female magic player, they're just very insulting. And it comes to a point where like you just have to like I have to step in and just like whoa dude, dude I I'll step in and but then he comes back over and over again and it's like 
it's like if you don't like this game and you don't like the people who play this game and that's all you complain about all the time why are you playing this game why are you st coming every week to this event like um really uh shocking to me that there are players like that but i mean even at the pro level i guess Dizani is a good example of a player who uh you know if he loses he throws his deck at you if he loses he like signs his name on the and then like throws at you and he's so salty all the time and uh, I can only imagine what he wins like I'm sure I'm sure that like if he wins he's not much better um, bye guys